guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about how to do a cut crease for hooded eyes. I did a how to do winged liner for hooded eyes last week or two weeks ago and everyone loved it and everyone really wanted to see like a series of this. So, because you guys asked for it, um, I'm going to give that to you guys. Cut creases are like the rage of everything. I swear to God, like everyone wants like a beautiful cut crease and I get why, like they're so amazing. So with hooded eyes, it's a little bit harder to find your crease and your cut crease and stuff like that. Also, I just want to point out that my eyes are two completely different levels of hooded. This one is way less hooded than this one. This one is like pretty much you can never see this eye or this eyelid, um, but this one you can kind of see it sometimes. So that's also why the, my eyeshadows might look a little bit different um, because they are different levels of hooded. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I upload content all the time. Four uploads a week. It's going to be fun. Join the fam. Subscribe. Yeah. So without any further ado, let's get on to how to do a cut crease for hooded eyes. Alright, let's get into this bad boy over here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime. I normally do this step before with some concealer and a little bit of powder. But Smashbox sent over this new product. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. So I'm just going to pop this on my lid and tap this in with my finger. And then to set it, I'm just gonna go into the Too Faced Natural Love palette. Um, I have a video on this if you guys wanna check it out. And I'm just gonna take the shade Heaven. I'm starting this in the crease so that sets first. And then I'm just gonna put on my lid and underneath my brow. All right, so for a cut crease, even though I use these colors, it does not mean you have to use these colors. I just picked out colors that I saw, products that I haven't really used in a while, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use these today. This technique can be done with any color. So the first brush that I'm going to take is a MAC 224. It's a fluffy brush, and this is going to be good for diffusing our colors up to our brow. Um, and the shadows that I'm going in with... Um, first off, I'm using the TARDIS Pro to go. I use this in my little Sephora haul fail, and if you guys want to see that, I'll link that below as well. But I'm just going to be using these two shades in it. So I'm first going to take the lighter shade called Drive. So with this, what I'm going to do is hold my brush kind of on an up angle. If you were to hold it down, you'd kind of get the shadow to be going down onto your lid, and we want to keep it primarily off of the lid. When you cut it out like this, you can be a little bit sloppier than if you were to, um, I don't know, not cut it out. But with the brush, the angle is everything, so hold it up a little bit. Even if it's in like this, you're going to create a nice line, but we want to diffuse this color going up. So I'm holding my brush up. And I'm just tossing this in where my eyeball sinks in. So I know with hooded eyes, um, it's kind of hard to figure out where your crease even is. Just find where your eye naturally sinks in. See where mine kind of sinks in right there? And that's where I'm pressing my brush. Um, and then I'm just going back and forth to diffuse this color up to my eyebrow. And you want to make your crease a little bit higher up than you would think to because we're going to be cutting it out. So the higher your crease is, the larger your lid is going to look. Okay, so now even with just the transition shade down, we can already tell a distinct difference from the crease to the lid. And before we were pretty mono lid. So this is good. We're doing good things here. I'm going to go in with this brush. This is a MAC 224. It's a dome shaped brush, so it's a little bit more precise than the 224, if you guys can tell the difference. So I'm going to take the shade right here called Stylin. It's just a darker shade. So whatever tones you're using, just do a light shade first, then like a medium dark shade. And with this, I'm going to do the same thing, holding my brush up on that angle. Instead of diffusing it all the way up to my brow, however, I'm really just going to keep it right where my eye naturally sinks in and where the concave of my eye is. And if it sinks down a little bit onto the lid, it's okay because like we go back in and we cut it out and you won't be able to tell. But don't really try to get it too much on the lid. I mean, it is a cut crease, so it should be somewhat precise. So it's all about the angle of the brush. So once you have that color placed in there, before it gets too dark and out of hand, you're going to go back in with V224. This has like leftover product on it. I'm not reapplying any product on it. I'm just going to go back in and diffuse it. Again, I'm not changing the angle of my brush. I'm keeping it at the same angle that it was at. Um, but I'm just working on blending this color upwards.
Now I'm gonna take a very tiny little precise brush. This is what it looks like. This one is from Crown Brush. Um, I don't know the model, I don't know the number. There's nothing written on it. Um, I'm gonna go in with a black. You can go in with any dark shade that you want though. Um, so this is Carbon, no, sorry. This is Raven by NYX. And I'm gonna mix this black with that darker medium shade. So no matter what colors you're using, you're gonna have a light, a medium dark, and a dark. With this, all I'm gonna do is trace out a new crease for myself that's a little bit higher up than I would even think of going. So normally, if I would just like look straight on forward, this right here would be my crease. But because we're gonna fake our lid and make it bigger looking, I'm gonna draw my crease up a little bit higher. So it's gonna go like right here. So that when my eye is fully open, you can see where my new crease so you want to do this with your eye open and then you can follow the natural outline of your eye if you like or if it's makeup you can create a brand new eye shape if you want. I just like to follow the shape of mine. And then once that's placed on there I'm just wiping the brush off and I just buff it up. I'm going to take the shade with that medium tone on it and I just buff right over top of that black. Alright, so now moving on to the color on my lid. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this one is in the shade Smoky Storm. I just applied this with the wand applicator and I think it turned out pretty good. You can get it more precise if you want to use a brush but I really think that the applicator itself did a good job. So I'm just gonna start out by applying this on my lid, all over that lid. All right, then right before I get up to where my black line is for my new crease, I'm gonna dip back in. I'm going to very carefully open my eye so that I can see it when my eye is open and just go along this line and trace out a little bit more. Trace out a new lid for myself here. Going right underneath that black. All right, before I move on to liner, I'm gonna work a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the Baby Don't Go on the MAC 224, and I'm just going to smudge this all along my lower lash line. I like this eye more than I like this eye. So they might be a little bit different because I like this one a little bit more. I'm going to take an eyeliner. This is the M Cosmetics Eyeliner in the shade um, Black Knight. I'm obsessed with this. It's like the best eyeliner ever for your waterline. I don't know where you can get it because this line is like not a thing anymore. Then I'm taking any smaller buffer brush. This is also from Crown. Again, no, net, no naming. And I'm going to take that styling shade, which is the medium dark shade, and buff this along my lower lash line. Then, with that smaller brush that we use with the black, I'm taking the black and just layering this on the outer half of my lower lash line. For the top eyeliner, I'm going to wing it out. This is with the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I have an entire video on how to do winged eyeliner for hooded eyes. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested because that is truly an entire video in itself. Before I throw some lashes on, I'm just gonna add a little bit of black into this crease because they're just too different not to. Um, and the black will just also help to find the lid a little bit more. So it's going right over top of the Stila liquid. I did like it a little bit more without the black definition added to it. It's a little bit softer. Woo! 
And then just to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of nylon by MAC and pop this on the inner corner. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did all enjoy it. If you guys want to see more of me, you are in luck. My winged liner for hooded eyes is right here and my last video is right here. So be sure to check both of those out. I love you guys all so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.